Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be me traveling alone for the first time to Virginia because I'm going to volunteer at my aunt's dental clinic there for volunteering hours. I'm not actually going to be vlogging Virginia, but I thought it would be fun to kind of vlog like the travel experience because I've traveled a lot of times, but I haven't traveled alone. So I thought it would be fun to just like bring y'all with. First of all, I did cut my hair. I can't really decide if I like it or not. Like I think it's a change and it's cute and it's so easy to manage i just cut it because my dance performance is done and that's why i couldn't cut it before yeah and so i cut it because i couldn't take care of my little long hair anymore so i just needed a full-on reset so i got it cut but i don't know it's just i feel like it makes me look like a little kid like i don't know it makes me feel little but i think as long as it grows out a little bit it'll be fine we'll see today is sunday um, it's like 6 o'clock Sunday, and my flight is tomorrow morning at like 9, and my dad's just gonna drop me off at the airport on the way to work, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, and I haven't packed a single thing. So anyways, I'm gonna be vlogging the journey. I think it'll be kind of fun. I'm really, really excited, but yeah. I have my suitcase right here, but I gotta get everything together because I have less than like 12 hours. I finished with all my like the majority of my like clothes clothes but there's a couple more things I need like my accessories and like makeup and skincare and all that so dang packing is a hassle let me just show you it is so messy and now from that and my skincare that's in the bathroom I need to pack it into this little tiny bag I'm gonna put all my jewelry in here. I'm gonna keep it really simple. Okay, so I have these studs in, which I'll just wear there. And then I'm gonna bring two pairs of hoops, like gold small hoops, and then these silver ones, just because I think most of my jewelry will be silver. I'm just gonna bring this necklace, and then I'll just pick out a couple of rings. Basically, what's gonna happen is this suitcase, I'm gonna check in, and I'm going to have a backpack that I'm gonna carry around. I was debating like bringing a backpack. I was just gonna just keep my carry-on with me the entire time. But I realized that would become a hassle because like in the plane, you know, I have to like lift it up and like put it in the, like the little thing, like whatever, like the high thing is you have to put your suitcases there. Like, I don't want to have to like do that. And I don't want to have to ask someone to do it. Like, I don't know. It's just a hassle to do like worry about that. So I thought it would just be easier if I just checked it in and then had a backpack with me with everything I need. So. <laughs> Okay, so I'm practically all ready for bed. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Okay, it's 11.32 and I have to be out of the house at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So anyways, good night, y'all. I'll wake up tomorrow morning and I'll talk to you then. Okay, guys, Um, it's been a while since I filmed, but basically I woke up this morning, got ready, whatever, came to the airport and I opened my phone to like open the boarding pass scan thing on my phone, on my Delta app and it like said that the flight got delayed to 11:45, and that's a two and a half hour delay because the flight was originally at 9 10. um so i call my parents and i'm like oh yeah it's okay i'll stay so anyways i like tried to check in at the kiosk and it like didn't work it said like i need an agent or whatever probably because like i'm an unaccompanied minor which is fine you can i think like after you're 13 you can travel alone it just comes under unaccompanied minor so anyways i stand in line for like a long time it took a really long time and i get in with the agent and so she scans my boarding pass and she goes so basically because of the weather in the east coast they're not letting like minors travel to like these like 10 airports and yeah so the flight is actually delayed but like for minors it's practically just canceled because like in case of like emergency landings at like other airports they don't want minors having to deal with like being in a completely random like place alone which makes sense but it's a bummer because like i can't go um so now i'm just at the airport i don't really know like, i'm literally just sitting here um waiting for my uncle to pick me up he'll start in a little bit so I have like 40 minutes here, but I can't really go anywhere because everything is past security check-in. So I'm just gonna go to baggage claim and I think there's like a Starbucks or a caribou there. 
so probably just get something like that and then i think i'm gonna try again tomorrow because i find standby so it's like not the biggest deal because i can just try again tomorrow i hope i can still go uh we'll see i don't know this is really odd like of all things i did not think this was gonna happen okay go. day two of trying i'm still at home it's 7 10 um we're about to go to the airport again right now the flight isn't even delayed yesterday got delayed two hours right now it isn't so hopefully it won't be there's less seats available for us standby travelers today than yesterday so it's not even about like them allowing me fly it's actually now about like the whole standby thing about if i can even go and because it does involve like volunteering hours and like things for my school I like really need to do this. Anyways, let's go to the airport. Okay guys, so I just finished security um, and now I have to ride a tram to my gate and I actually got a seat. Um, the standby thing got cleared. So I am gonna go to Virginia, which is really nice. Security went by really easily. And I have to ride a tram to my gate because it's super far away. So I'm waiting for the tram right now in the airport. Um, yeah. I am currently really close to my gate. It, boarding has started. Alrighty, I can see people boarding, so I gotta get on quickly. But I have my boarding pass, so I think I'm good. We'll see. I didn't even use the bathroom. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm walking the opposite direction. And moving on to Main Gen 1 at this time for Washington Dallas, Main Gen 1. Oh, dang, it's boarding. I heard the thing. Walking up to the flight. So our um, flight is like two and a half hours and then I should be in Virginia. Successfully off the flight. I have to get to baggage claims because I have a suitcase to get and then I was just waiting for my uncle and I already texted them that I've landed and stuff so yeah I think I'm just gonna get like Starbucks or something. But that's like the end of this video. I was just gonna vlog like my first pop experience alone. It was definitely an experience. I mean, I didn't even go the day I was supposed to go. That's interesting in itself. Yeah, it was fun. And I hope you guys like this video. It's kind of all over the place. But I tried my best to film. I have like anxiety when filming in public. So. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And other than that, from the Washington Dulles Airport, I love you guys so, so much. Mm -hmm.